Welcome tech lovers, Ibrar here. Today I am going to show you how to set up SFTP server within 40 seconds with the key and password based authentication. I am not going to explain what is SFTP server because this channel intends only to action. As you know the channel name is DevOps in action. Why should you use this SFTP server? Point 1. SFTP server setup with the user and key base authentication in any OS takes approx 30 minutes for expert. Where you can set up this SFTP server within 40 seconds and it support cross platform so you can use it any OS or servers. Point number 2. Everything is dynamic using variable so you can change according to your need. Point number 3. It support key base and password based authentication. Point number 4. You can spin up and spin down this server within seconds. This is useful for any organization where you want to use SFTP server. Let's start without any delay. Here I mentioned each and every steps clearly. You need to follow only 4 steps. The first step is create authentication keys. Second step full docker image. Third step set variable and fourth step is run docker container. Let's see in action. This is my Ubuntu server and I want to set up here SFTP server. So let's fire command one by one. First I am going to create authentication key. Here you can see my authentication key is created. I am going to pull docker image. It's downloading. Yes, it's done. So here you need to change variable container name, username, password, or port according to your need. So I'm okay with the same. And uh, one more thing here, you need to change mount path. I want to share my slash Ansari directory with SFTP server. So I'm going to use this. Now I am going to run docker container. Docker container is running. And I am going to test my connection. I got host name, the key and I am going to use PMP method login. Here you can see login done with the PM key and I am under the container. Exit the Docker container and I want to log in with the password method. So yes, it's asking for password. What is the my password? Yes, I not change anything. So this is the default one. Yes. And in Docker container, check the path. I am under the my user account. What is the name of user? Yes, it's Ibrahim. Sorry, but I pointed it outside. So let's see. Yeah, the mount path is Ansari CD Ansari, and you can see all mounted files and folders is here. Exiting this one, and uh, there are many test type so I am not going to use this one I want to test uh, SFTP server using FileZilla also so let's start FileZilla I added connection here to avoid video length so everything is the same you can see here my server IP port is 2023 which I mentioned here and username same 
Ibrar Ansari and password is the same. So I am testing with password method. Let's connect. Yes. And uh, you notice something here. I am using SFTP protocol. I am under the home Ibrar, but I mounted outside. So you can see here the same file and folders. Let's say I am going to make some file here. Here you can see only four folder available so i am going to make a another folder like uh, sftp demo in real time you can see under the ftp it's available sftp demo okay from here you can also create directory let's say demo created from from tp okay let's create one file here also yes okay it's working everything going perfectly so let's say i want to delete this one yes i'm able to delete it yes everything seems perfect fine let's test another method which is sftp key label here okay I am connecting with key based authentication. So let's start. Now you can see everything seems working fine here as well. Under the mounted directory, you are able to see everything is working fine. Let's create a folder. Yes, it's working fine. I want to show you something here as well. One more point connecting with the private key. Here you can see I fully customized this Docker image. Okay, I used Ubuntu 22.04 LTS version and I added some information here. When you use it for production environment, you can use it for development environment, you can use it for any environment. It is perfectly working fine. Make sure you need to change uh, mount point before starting it. I think it's good. So I'm ending this video. connect with me if you like this video is useful thank you very much have a nice day ahead see you in the next video